Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Michael Haas over at michaelhaas.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to create your own t-shirt mock-up from scratch with colors that are from the actual garment manufacturer itself. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is remove your t-shirt that you photographed from the background. Once you've done that, go ahead and name it Color Mask and then Command J to duplicate it. And then we'll rename this Shadows. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and Shift U to bring up your shape and drag out a square across the entire t-shirt right there. What you want to do is clip this shape to the color mask below it. So an easy way to do that is hold Alt while clicking in between those layers and it's going to clip it to it. We'll go ahead and take the shadows layer, set that to multiply. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker than I'd like it to be. So what we can do from here is add some adjustment layers, bring in some better coloring and get some more realistic shadows going on here. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add a levels adjustment. Now I have some numbers that work pretty good. I've already done this before, so I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. You can too. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Next thing we'll add is a curves adjustment just to bump it up just a little bit. Okay. And lastly, we're going to add some brightness. Actually, we're just going to add some contrast to this to help bring those shadows out a little bit more. Perfect. All right, go ahead and grab your adjustment layers and the shadows layer, Command G to group them, rename shadows again. And let's test this out to make sure that these color, that these adjustments are gonna work well across all these colors. So a good way to do that is to check your white, see what it looks like, and then go ahead and check your blacks as well to see if that's gonna look pretty good. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as this crazy orange color we got going on here. And the next thing you can do is go ahead and actually bring in your artwork. So I have some artwork that I created in Illustrator, and it's my take on Damn Daniel. Uh, I do realize that the shoes referenced are white, but I kind of enjoyed this color palette a little bit more. So I went ahead and went with this. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. You do want to paste it as a smart object. That way you can retain edibility. And go ahead and just drop it in below that shadows layer. Perfect. Okay, so grabbing the actual garment colors from the manufacturer itself is kind of cool. The app that I use to do that is called SIP, S-I-P. And if you go ahead and look at it in the Mac store, this is what it looks like. So go ahead and download this or something similar to help you sample colors off your screen. Once you get it up and running, what you want to do is come over to Google, go to your manufacturer's website. Mine's American Apparel. It's the BB401, which is a poly cotton tee. Just open that up and then bring up SIP by holding down Control alt p And the really cool thing about SIP and why I like it so much is whenever you command click a color, it actually sends that color that you just sampled into Photoshop, which is a pretty cool feature, especially when all you have to do is this to change your colors. So what I just did there was made sure that I was on my shape layer and then alt backspace to delete or alt alt delete makes that color, that shape, the color that you just sampled because it's your foreground color now. So to show you what I mean, I'll go ahead and click on another color here. We'll do lapis. Command click, Alt delete, changes it. So that's pretty cool to me. It's pretty helpful and it's pretty useful for a lot of the clients that I work with. So I'm not going to stick with one of those right now just for the sake of visuals. I'm going to go ahead and pick this kind of this crazy color, this coral again, and I'm going to stick with that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my t-shirt tag. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it here. And I'm going to Command V, which is paste as a smart object. And I didn't remove some of that white in Illustrator, so I'm just going to do it really quick and easy here. I'm going to mask it out. Okay, perfect. And typically, whenever you're choosing a tag color for print, you want to go with a cool gray, cool gray 3 or a cool gray, uh, you know, 3C, 4C, 5C, something like that. Something that's not going to show through the back because it's too dark. I think that looks all right for now. Go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. And w what I'm going to do from here is basically just mask out around the collar so that it looks like the tag itself is laying behind the t-shirt or inside of the t-shirt rather. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm just going to go ahead and create a clip or create a mask here. Make sure that my foreground set to black and then just go ahead and paint this out. Definitely recommend using masks um, and also using smart objects. That way you retain editability, your non-destructive workflow. You can go back and change things as needed. So this is just kind of a crude job of doing it, but you get the idea. You can spend as much time as you need on it. Go ahead and grab this little piece here. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. So there you have it. You've created your own t-shirt mock from scratch. You're using actual garment colors from the manufacturer, and you've created a t-shirt tag inside of there. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you have any questions, post below, and I'll answer them. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.